Janabra. How can I move? Eight years ago, when I gave my inaugural address, I shared my vision of a greater Anambra state with you. To some people, it sounded like a dream. To many, it came across as the usual sweet talk from a politician. And yet, to others, it carried a light of hope. Among them, today, most of those dreams I shared with you have come true. You asked for safety, we gave you Nigeria's safest state. You asked for dignity, we sent our children to a global contest of intelligence and they defeated America, China, Spain and Turkey and brought back dignity and honor. You asked for legacies, we gave you monuments. The Anambra, I touched a dream. Brothers and sisters, as your governor, I worked under extreme pressure. I took many hard decisions, I stepped on some toes, I uh, didn't answer some phone calls, I lost some friends on account of these. If you're one of those who felt offended by what I did or did not do, please forgive me. For in the words of the great Nelson Mandela, I quote, Forgiveness liberates the soul, unquote. A governor is also human. Whatever I did was for the good of Anambra State. Dalono. Omonem, I'm also aware that I did not fulfill every promise I made. But no government in the world has ever kept all promises or solved all problems of its time. However, my intentions were pure and my ambitions sincere. Let history be the judge. Now let's take a look at what we did. Our efforts were audacious, covering major areas of development from the softest to the hardest issues that challenge modern governance. While I have decided to leave my account of stewardship to historians and students of leadership, it may be necessary to recall that my team and I began by defining the realities of our environment. We figured that we would not be able to make reasonable progress unless we found a solution to the challenge of insecurity in our public safety in Anambra State. And respond to that, in response to that, we organized Nigeria's first international conference on security and flew in an Israeli security expert in 2014 to facilitate the conference. The outcome was a revolutionary security architecture, which helped us launch an all-out war on crime in our dear state. The crackdown was heavy, but in the end, we took back our state from the men of the underworld. I have not the slightest doubt that the glory of the new Anambra began with our victory over crime and criminality. Our campaign to return self-belief to our people was subtle but effective. The melodious Anambra anthem, the Anambra logo, and the symbols of unique identity, the core values which are recited by school children every day, are a silent effort to give our people's pride back to them. Though so these silent efforts we have succeeded in raising our generations of Anambra children who have enough self-esteem to compete with their mates from across the world. Our concept of Anna Lolo and Alumado, which emphasizes commitment to the welfare of Anambra workers, also led to improved loyalty and productivity for the workers. I must however recall that my administration has was hit by two major recessions. 2016 2018 and of course the covid recession but we still increased worker salaries and never owed salaries or pensions for one day our policy of being more with less ensured that an umbrella was insulated from the ravages of the recession while we rolled out a stimulus package to reflect some national economy it is interesting to recall that our economic stimulus package actually gave rise to the highly acclaimed 20 million Committee Choose Your Project initiative, which has become a much sought after model in rural development studies. This initiative also ensured that my administration touched all the 181 communities in Anambra State with projects of their own choices. The success recorded in the first phase of the project encouraged this administration to do more leading to the commencement of the second phase of the project. As a result of this, 
All the communities got projects worth 40 million naira each from my administration. Indeed, one of the major achievements that I took back to with pride is the establishment of a court of appeal in Anka. Until that development, our people had always traveled to Enugu to seek justice. But the setting up of the court has restored our people's pride and dignity. We approached education in three broad categories students' welfare, teachers' welfare, and infrastructure development. Essentially, my administration set out to maintain the competitive advantage of our state has enjoyed in education over other states in the country and take it a notch higher. To achieve that, we sent Anambra teachers on offshore trading and exposed them to global best practices. We did that because we knew that the best way to take a charge of tomorrow is to inculcate the right character in our teachers today. This is one of the secrets of Anambra's greatest performance in education under my watch. In infrastructure, the 1,000 hostels we built in 12 technical colleges across the state are monuments that will speak for me long after I've gone. The 2,500 red roof classroom blocks built across the state is also another monument to behold. In addition, we refunded both missionary and public schools in equal measure. We donated the sum of 2.8 billion to both mission and public schools. In students' welfare, we have offered scholarships to over 300 students. The direct outcome of this is that both our school children and their teachers won impressive awards under my watch. And with, it, with, this, with this development, I have no doubt that the future belongs to Anambra State. In the words of America's Ralph Waldo Emerson, I quote, the first wealth is health, unquote. My team and I believe in this axiom. Health comes before wealth. One of our greatest legacies in the health sector is the Anambra State Health Insurance Agency, Asia, which was set up to make health, quality health delivery services easy and accessible to a greater number of our people. With only 12,000 naira per annum, residents of the states can access high quality health care as they like. Our second major legacy in the health sector is the Anambra Oxygen Plant, which is the biggest in the Federation. This, is, this investment has continued to play an unforgettable role in the fight against COVID-19. The third major legacy is the Maclet Heart Multi-Specialist Hospital Aguilary. This hospital is a showpiece of medical excellence. It is equipped with the most modern facility that can be seen in any hospital across the world. Beyond this, we also paid a great deal of attention to the challenges of delivering quality healthcare to the river Rhine areas. We floated 26 water ambulances to deliver medical supplies to river Rhine communities. We also provided KK ambulances for quick emergency, uh, emergency shuttles in locations where conventional vehicles cannot easily access. And finally, we donated the sum of 1.2 billion naira to all mission and government-owned hospitals in the state to strengthen their capacities to respond to the medical needs of our people. Fellow citizens, when leadership is focused and innovative, it invokes the future. My team and I worked very hard to invoke the future of Anambra State. We worked on my economic blueprint, which is anchored on agriculture, industrialization, trade and chemists, oil and gas. In agriculture, we, when we lit the fire of agriculture revolution in Tejé on May the 15th, 2014, we created a fertile soil for big industrial farms like Oscaris, Jusen Agro, Chelsea Farms, Excel Farms, Linden Farms to thrive. Our story changed immediately afterwards. Rice production output climbed from 80,000 metric tons in 2014 to 525,000 metric tons in 2021. Maize production rose from 15,902 metric tons to 77,255 metric tons. Cassava rose from 275,832 metric tons 
2014 to 2 million 60,687 metric tons. Vegetables from 48,032 metric tons in 2014 to 482,400 metric tons. We now have over 160,000 farmers and 300 cooperative societies for, of, for farmers registered. In less than five years of operation, Coscaris farms have quickly added a fully automated 40,000 metric tons of rice mill to its investment. Joseph Agro also added 50,000 metric tons of rice mill at Umumbo to its fast expanding line of operation. Similarly, Linden Farms expanded the scope beyond the 90,000 bird capacity it started with in Ibarium. It, it now has three production houses with output of 265,000 birds, laying an average of 72,000 crates of eggs per day. Our fora or into industrialization was drive by Anambra Small Business Agency, ASBA, which I set up on December the 8th, 2014. Since then, ASBA has successfully funded 10,000 cooperatives, micro-enterprises, and artisans, while also providing operating capital to 200 small and medium enterprises. ASBA's success has attracted Nigeria's most modern small and medium enterprise complex to Upole Zunaka. The complex houses an ultra-modern industrial shoe making hub with cutting edge uh, technology and a capacity to produce shoes that compare with shoes made in Europe. One of the machines in the complex has the capacity to produce 1,500 souls per hour. On the strength of these stellar achievements, Anambra was declared the best state in support of SMEs and honored by the presidential villa Abuja in 2018. Today, Made in Anambra shoes are exported to other West African countries on a weekly basis. The crowning glory of our effort in oil and gas is the recognition of Anambra State as an oil and gas producing state by the federal government. We have 15 oil wells at the moment. With this achievement, our dear state is now qualified to receive additional revenues from 13% derivation fund given to oil producing states. This will definitely give a big financial elbow room to my successor and make it easier for the state to undertake more ambitious projects. In addition, we successfully constructed two bridges to open access to the oil fields. They are the Agule Road 2 Bridge, which is one of the longest bridges in the southeast, measuring 280 meters long. Then the Umweja Bridge. The Umweja Bridge also offers a direct access to the multi-billion naira world, world Chelsea farms. Before now, the only oil fields could only be accessed through Enugu State. Our remarkable legacy in trade and commerce is the market modernization scheme which ensured that the investment of the sum of 10 million each to the three, that is the three markets in Anambra State worked. It helped the various traders associations to upgrade the facilities in their markets. We also relocated many markets to lend depth to the commerce and boost the capacity of our markets. Power supply. In the number, you may recall that in my inaugural address, I had assured you that my administration would pay a great deal of attention to power supply in our dear state. Today, I'm delighted to report that we successfully constructed a 33 kVA distribution line from Oji River substation in Enugu State to supply 36 communities in Orumba, North and South uh, electricity. Even in Swatch Town in Abia also benefited. We also constructed another 33 kV line from Agwaka to the Anambra International Airport to ensure a two-hour supply of electricity to the airport per day. But perhaps even more important than that of our partnerships with the Trans Transmission Company of Nigeria for the construction of electricity projects in Ifitedunu, Umotru, Amansi, and Aguleri. This will change power supply in Anambra State for the better. Fellow citizens, the direct result of implementing my blueprint is that under my watch, the economy of Indian Anambra grew from 
3.2 trillion to 4.4 trillion naira. That comfortably placed us as Nigeria's fourth largest economy. Another direct result is that under my watch, again, Anambra joined Lagos and Rivers as the only states in Nigeria that could meet their operating obligations with funds from their internally generated revenue and earnings from value-added tax. Still, under my watch, poverty rates in our dear state dropped from 53% in 2010 to 14.8% in 2020. Our dear state was also rated as the state with the lowest unemployment rate in Nigeria in 2020, at a stunning 13.1%. That was a time when the national average stood at 27%. Similarly, we were also rated as the state with the best fiscal responsibility in desk in Nigeria, after only reverse state. And finally, to crown it all, Anambra State attracted the sum of 10.2 million dollars in foreign direct investment in 2020 in Anambra. These statistics tell a simple story, a story of resilience in the face of incredible odds, a story of my stewardship to you. It is important to mention our titanic uh, struggle against gully erosion, which threatens to swallow up our 4,844 square kilometers of land. Some of those gully erosion sites had uh, swallowed large areas of several buildings before we moved in. A good example is the 100 foot road at Newi, which was threatened to swallow the famous Nkwa Newi Spare Pass Market before we moved in. The perplexity of fighting gun erosion is that you sink billions of Naira in a big hole only to show a surface patch on the land surface afterwards. Anybody could walk past a reclaimed erosion site without knowing the enormous financial resources that went into reclaiming it. But that's what we did in Newi, Amachala, Oka, Agumar Obosi, Mina Jubosi, Abagana, Enuguku, Mbo, Newich, Ezinifitwe, Ojoto, Ikengogiri, Ekweme Square, and Nkisi Aroli, among other areas we worked on. Anambra International Passenger and Cargo Airport. In the Anambra, no experience compares to the pleasure of touching a dream. The feeling is unbelievable. It is even more so if the dream had lasted over 30 years. In the Anambra, we touched a dream when we commissioned the Anambra International Passenger at Kagwe Airport, Umweri. We are a people who covered the ambitions of the Anambra. It is a tribute to our de desire to reject average and expand the frontiers of excellence in all we do. The International Convention Center, OKA. The International Convention Center represents the size of our dream. In its grandeur and sublime aesthetics, the center points are the huge possibilities for Anambra State. In concept and execution, the International Convention Center did not pay attention to modesty. It reflects our collective drive for the best in whatever we do. In both the city stadium and the iconic flyovers in Oka, Amorbia, we see a statement of disarming beauty that speaks the language of the future. Just like the dazzle of the streetlights and the shimmer all over our landscape at night, the 17 bridges and the 113 roads we completed are also part of our distinct landmarks. The robust development of tourism treasures like the Obaoku Caves, Waterfalls at Oboruzukala and Obunike Caves in Obunike has added tourism to the many attractive offerings for Anambra State. There are things that remind us that we are the light of the nation. In the Anambra, you may recall that the title of my inaugural address is, I quote, expand the frontiers of excellence, unquote. Now, if you look at the sparkling elegance of Anambra International Passenger and Cargo Airport and the intimidating immensity of the International Convention Center, you may accept that my team and I have indeed walked our top. Also, in the same inaugural address, I declared, and I quote, under my administration, we have no choice than to decide whether we are truly the sons and daughters of our fathers 
and true heirs to their long history of pioneering excellence. Again, I think we have shown that we are true sons and daughters of our fathers and mothers. I think we have pioneered the new, thing, new things and set few standards for the future generation. In the Anambra, I think we have run this race well. I can look forward, I can look boldly into the eyes of history and they are there to judge me. I know it will judge me kindly. Umunem, I cannot end this speech without thanking you for the incredible support you gave me in the past eight years. I look back to all the historic records we made with pride. I look back to the 21 over 21 with a deep sense of gratitude. What comes to my mind when I do that is a brilliant quote from the American bas basketball icon, Kobe Bryant, that I quote, winning takes precedence over all things, unquote. In the buying, winning is such a wonderful experience. 21 over 21 is a watershed in the political history of this country. It was a moment when a proud people rose to their feet as one to reject every attempt to, uh, at imposition. I thank you for that. I also thank you for the memorable 19 over 21 victory you gave Professor Soludo by voting APGA in the last election. You rose against threats of violence and brazen intimidation to ensure that the vision of the society we had worked for is entrenched in the past eight years and sustained. Hello, Nurinne. The Anambra, it is not always easy to say goodbye. But I'm happy that I'm leaving you in good hands. I pray you give the same support I enjoyed from you to my to the new governor. I have no doubt that he will surpass all our expectations. Umunem, the God bless Anambra State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.